Good evening. Uh, I'm Dr. Jim Clayton. I've been in the community 33 years as a dentist. Uh, I've had a lot of roles in the community. Um, I run a Sugarloaf Youth Athletic Program with 300 athletes all summer long. Uh, many of them use the community gardens as a training area. Um, I was the high school track and cross country coach for 10 or 11 years, and the high school uses that area for their competitive cross country races. So not only do we use that land for the Grants race, which is probably the best thing that I've seen in my 40 years of running in the United States, but we use it as a high school competitive area. And it is, um, we have records listing for the last 20 years of athletes that have run on that course and we'd hate to see that disappear. Um, I use this land for everything. I have a dog, I run with my dog, I walk with my dogs, they're getting older now. Um, I appreciate the community gardens that are out there, I appreciate the farming that's out there. I've seen this land go from, uh, as uh, Mrs. Rayton said, the, uh, or Mrs. Peterson, excuse me, um, a well agricultured area to one that has kind of gone fallow and hopefully will come back. I've seen a pumpkin field down there that's gone unhar unharvested, to my knowledge. Uh, we went down there and borrowed some pumpkins as they were rotting in the field. But what I'm trying to say is that this multi-purpose land is so valuable and we need to find a way to make it multi-purpose and keep it multi-purpose. I believe that we should have dogs, we should have running, we should have farming, and somehow with 200 and some odd acres that we're talking about, there should be a way to figure out how this can be done. Um, one other thing I want to say is that there used to be a water monitoring area in the river with a large cement structure. That area is, was a state structure. There is erosion behind that state structure. It is cavitating an entire hill near the cross-country courses. As the track coach, I was worried about this thing falling into the river. It silts up Smith College, uh, their Paradise Pond. Um, so something needs to be done with erosion. There's also tons of dead trees out there and there's a lot of vines and Virginia creeper and other things that have come in. I would love to see the land managed by a forestry person to plant, stop erosion, work with the agriculture, and to make this a total multi-purpose use land. Um, as far as trail maintenance, I've gone out there personally. We've taken machinery from the high school and fixed the trails. Smith College routinely does that, and they use this also as a racing area for about four cross-country meets every season. Uh, it's invaluable. I lived in New Jersey. There's no dog walking park within 25 miles of where my father lives in New Jersey. Uh, I love this area. My children come back from college, and they take the dog for a run or go out there. It's just probably one of the gems of Northampton and of the state of Massachusetts. Thank you.